I started um, with paragliding. Paragliding is taking off from mountains with a paraglider with the possibility to fly cross-country distance just with the use of thermals to soar. Also, different aerobatic maneuvers are possible with a paraglider. From there, I started with skydiving on this picture. You can see there is a four-way skydive for people flying together. And on the left-hand side, it's the camera flyer with the camera mounted to his helmet so he can film the whole jump for the film itself and also for uh, the judging. From regular relative skydiving, I went on to uh, free flying. Free flying is more the three-dimensional skydiving. You can see the skydiver with the red suit. He is uh, in a stand-up position. Uh, the one with the yellow-green suit, he's flying head down. And that's me in the background carving around the whole formation uh, in free fall, also with the helmet cam to film this jump. From free flying, I went on to sky surfing. Sky surfing is skydiving with a board on the feet. And you can imagine with this big surface of um, a sky surfing board, there is a lot of force, a lot of power. And of course, I can use this power, for example, for nice spinning, we call it helicopter moves. And from there, I went on to wingsuit flying. Wingsuit flying is a suit that, um, that I can uh, make fly just only with my body. If I put some tension on my body, tension on my suit, uh, I can make it fly. And as you see, the fall rate is much, much slower because of the bigger surface. With a proper body position, I, I'm able to really move forward to, uh, to uh, gain quite some distance. This is a jump I did uh, in Rio de Janeiro. You can see the Copacabana on the left-hand side. And from there, with all the skills and knowledge from uh, paragliding and all the different disciplines in skydiving, I went on to base jumping. Base jumping is skydiving from fixed objects uh, like um, buildings, antennas, bridges, and earth, meaning uh, mountains, cliffs. It's for sure for me, it's the ultimate feeling of uh, being in free fall um, with all the visual references. So my goal soon was to uh, discover new places that nobody had jumped before. So in summer 2000, I was the first to base jump the Eiger North face in Switzerland. Uh, two years after this, I was the first to base jump from Matterhorn, very famous uh, mountain that probably everybody knows in here. 2005, I did a base jump from the Eiger, from the Monk, and from the Jungfrau, three uh, very uh, famous mountains in Switzerland. And the special thing on these three jumps were, was uh, I hiked them all and climbed them all in only one day. And uh, 2008, I jumped the Eiffel Tower in Paris. <laughs> so. With all this, um, this uh, knowledge, I also uh, wanted to, to get into stunts. So with some friends, we started to do different tricks, like, for example, this jump here. I uh, jumped from a paraglider. Or here, everybody, everybody was freezing pretty much, except me, because it was very cold in Austria, where we did this filming. Everybody sitting in a basket, and I was on top of the balloon ready to slide down with my, with my uh, sky surfboard. Or this jump from a moving truck uh, on a highway. <laughs> Extreme sport on top level like this is only possible if you practice step by step, if you really work hard on your skills uh, and on your knowledge. Um, of course, you need to be in physical, very good condition. So I'm training a lot. I, you need to have the, the best possible equipment. And uh, probably the most important is you have to work on your mental skills, mental preparation. And all this to come as close as possible to the human dream of being able to fly. So for 2009, I'm training hard for my two uh, new projects. The first one, I want to set a world record in flying from a cliff 
with my wingsuit, and I want to set a new record with the longest distance ever flown. And uh, for my second project, I have a sensational idea of a jump that never has been done before. So now, on the following movie, you will see that I'm much better in flying a wingsuit than speaking in, G in English. <laughs> Enjoy, and uh, thank you very much. might have some questions. Um, question one, so does that actually feel the way the flying dream does? Because it, it looks like it might. Pretty much, I believe this is probably the closest, <laughs> the closest possibility to come uh, to the dream of uh, being able to fly. Right. And I know, I know the answer to this, but how, how do you land? Parachute. I, we have to open the parachute uh, just uh, seconds before 
I would say impact, but <laughs> it's, not, <laughs> it's not possible to land a wingsuit yet. Yes, but people are trying. Are you among those? Well, you're not going to commit. Are you among it's, those it's trying a, to do it? It's a dream. It's a dream. Yeah. Uh, we're still working on it, and uh, we, we're developing the wingsuits to, to get better performance, to get more knowledge, uh -huh. and um, I believe soon. All right. Well, we will watch this space, but I have two more questions. What is the, there was exhaust coming out of the back of the wingsuit. Was it a propelled wingsuit that you were wearing, or was no, that? No, it's just smoke. It's coming smoke. off of you? You know, it's a small, uh, <laughs> <laughs> hopefully not. <laughs> It's dangerous. <laughs> no, smoke is uh, for two reasons. You can see the speed. You can uh, you yeah. can uh, see the the way where I was flying. Yeah. That's reason number one. And reason number two, um, it's much easier for the camera guy to film uh, if I'm oh, using I see. smoke. So the wingsuit is set up to deliberately release the smoke so that you yeah. can be you can yeah. be tracked. One more question: what, what do you do to cover your face? Because I just keep I keep thinking of going that fast and having your whole face smushed backwards. Are you in a helmet? Are you in um, goggles, or is this suit go over you? The purest and the best feeling would be with only goggles. And is that, is that how you usually um, um, Usually fly? I'm wearing a helmet. In the mountains, yeah. I'm always wearing a helmet because yeah. of uh, landings. Uh, it's usually it's difficult. It's not like regular skydiving where you have like the big landings. <laughs> so uh, you have to be prepared. Right. Now, is, is there anything you don't do? Do people come to you with projects and say, we want you to do this? And do you ever say no? Oh, no, of course. Not of course. <laughs> Some people have crazy ideas. and. Uh, <laughs> Thank you very much.